Hi, I'm Debbie. And I'm Tim. Welcome to Vintage Food Farm, or should I say, welcome to absolute paradise in Palm Cove, far north Queensland, Australia. So we're in Palm Cove and the markets are on, so we're gonna go and have a look at the markets. And then we're going to go and have one of the best breakfasts in far north Queensland. We're going to a restaurant called Nunu. Nunu? Nunu. Nunu. Now, it is not a cheap restaurant. If you go there for dinner, it is absolutely horrendously expensive. But the trick is to go for breakfast and you'll get the best breakfast of your life and it's quite affordable. So we're walking along the Esplanade in Palm Cove and it's right on the water. The water is crystal, crystal blue. There's Double Island out there, there's the Scout Hat. It's totally, totally paradise. There's even someone on a jet ski. We've had so much rain. So since um, Cyclone Jasper, since the rain after Jasper, it has been raining for three months. And this weekend is the first weekend where the weather has been absolutely stunningly beautiful. The Esplanade is lined with these beautiful coconut palms and all the beach almonds, and you can hear the crashing of the waves. It is absolute paradise. So I think the Palm Cove markets are on the first Sunday of every month. Um, it's a very, very posh market, um, but really beautiful. And hopefully they don't have some really good food there because we've already booked at Nunu. I don't want to have FOMO. So that's Vivo, which is another great place for breakfast. If we hadn't been able to get into Nunu, we would have gone to Vivo. So this dog's peeling a coconut on the beach. It's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> that is so adorable. Hello! You are gorgeous! So up the top of the fish and chip shop, so the fish and chip shop is called Pete's Place. Up the top of that is some of the best Japanese food in cans, and that's called Kushi. You can already see there's heaps of food vans. The other place that's great food here is um, El Forno, Il Forno um, which does really good pizza. But we're looking at these food vans today because we're at the market, but we're not gonna eat anything. We're gonna save our stomachs for Nunu. Just look at that lamb. So that place does like fried chicken. Spicy, spicy chicken. Spicy chicken? Is that what it says? Super Yum. Spicy that just makes me hungry. Wood fired pizza? That's the that's where that guy got that pizza from. Hey, how you going? They've got the obligatory potato stick. How cute is this? So they do smoothies, smoothies and bowls. There we go. Hey guys, got a sample there if you want to try mango, pineapple, passion fruit, or mixed berries, mango, strawberry, sorbet. So what's that? I think it's the mango. Yeah. Yeah, good. It's so good. Oh. I'll tell you what, Palm Cove Markets has the best food. It is not too shabby at all. It's, um, oh, this is Chalumba chilies. So they're using the chilies in, when they're cooking. Yeah. So they're doing like grilled um, chicken wings and then adding in the chili. Chill and grill. Chill and grill. Okay, they are totally the cutest bookmarks ever, but I'm an audio book person, so I don't need a bookmark. <laughs> So if you need a hat, what is that? Is it? Recycled from the canvas. Oh wow! So 
you feel it, it's the canvas they cover the loads with on road trains. That Pretty is cool. So cool. So they take the old canvas off of the road trains and recycle it and make these hats. That is the coolest thing ever. How much are they? 100 bucks. 100 bucks. <laughs> is this, do you know about these? Yes. Is this your, yes. Yep. yep. So there's two different types. These yep. are the bucket hats. Yep. Which are pretty good if you just want to just screw them up and chuck them in your pocket. Yeah. Um, which is then, great if you're traveling too. Yeah. yeah. And these ones are our most popular ones because they got more of a shape to them, more like a cowboy sort of style hat. So is that right that they're actually made from the... Yeah, see all the markings, they're all yeah, different. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just from the tops. I'm so impressed. Yeah. Is this a new thing or has this been Well, around? they've been around a few years. Yep. But, um, um, you know, they're, they're really, really popular with yeah. the fellas. I love them. Yeah. Because they look used already. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They've got some cred. Yep. <laughs> That's very cool. Thank you, you so much. Did you want to try one on? Why not? Let's do it. That is very cool. Oh, we could wear that in Vietnam. And you can clip them up. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I think it's a bit too big, is it? Do you want to go down one? Just, yeah, down one size. All right. And do you, would you want that sort or a bucket hat? Definitely this sort. Is that better? Yeah, that's great. Uh, oh. the Hello. Last room, Hello. The last room. Yeah. We've been watching your vlogs. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, so many. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. No, How right. are you going? We actually wanted to go to the... Uh, sorry to interrupt you. No, go for it. Go for it. We, we, we uh, were watching the vlog recently. You went to the fishing... Uh, the, you ate on the fishing... Oh, so prawn star. Yeah, yeah, prawn yeah, star, yeah. yeah. So we it's arrived so this, good. Uh, said, there's that prawn star there. <laughs> worth, worth going to. It is, it's yeah, really good. good. Have a great day. You day. too. Nice to meet you. That is the coolest thing ever. In a daggy sort of way. Well, daggy suits Do you want me. it? Yeah. I think we should get it. Shut up and take my money or what? Yeah. <laughs> Can you just say that once more? Shut up and take my money. <laughs> <laughs> it's light too. Let's do it. 99. Cash or card? Uh, card, thank you. No worries, I'll just squeeze through. Sorry. Am I going to be on TV now? If you want to be. <laughs> really, really light. And durable. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was the coolest impulse buy ever. So we've booked Nunu for 10 a.m. So we must not get distracted. Um, we can always come back to the market afterwards. Quarter two. <laughs> Quarter two. Yeah. Should we head back to the restaurant? Yeah. Um, Nunu uses so much tropical produce, like heaps of tropical fruit and cassava and lots and lots of things. Um, really, really a really interesting and beautiful restaurant. So we're going to turn around, finish the market later and go and get some good food. Are you hungry? I'm very hungry. <laughs> so like we said at the beginning, if you book Nunu for dinner, if you go there for dinner, it's actually quite expensive. Um, when we first moved up here, it, we got a shock at the price. Um, it's worth it because it's an experience. But if you go there for breakfast, I mean, it's it's not Cambodia cheap, but for what you're getting in that location, when you could pay that for a breakfast at a pub or a cafe anywhere, is a bargain. Yes. So we're going to get a, a Mother's Day raffle ticket for $5. What do you win? Uh, a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> $2,000 worth of stuff. Perfect. Perfect. True soul. Uh, Rotary gets them as donations. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 that's really cool. Okay, what do you Oh, you'll get 15 for 15. What name will I put them in? Tim. Tim. Put them in your wife's name. Do you have to be here for well, the no, draw? No. Look at this pretty mother. This is the display for Mother's Day. If we're away when it gets drawn, yes. what happens? We just ring you yeah. and we'll store it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So where are you from? We're from here. Yeah, okay. But on the 10th of May we're in Vietnam. Oh, okay. So. Oh, well, there'll be some of the prize left by the time you <laughs> Good. Maybe, you know. Yeah, maybe not the alcohol and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but the, you know, the nice things. Oh, uh, look, if we win, help yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tucker time. Really lovely people here, like everywhere in Cairns. No one's afraid of a good talk. So something's really 
happening in Palm Cove. It used to be very, very anti-commercial brands, which I get they wanted to sort of preserve the look of Palm Cove and everything, but it made things um, not quite as accessible. So if you needed to buy bathers, you had to go to these um, boutiques and you know get designer designer bathers and stuff but now they've got some more commercial businesses down here so that's a rip curl there there's talk about a mcdonald's which is um going too far i think but i mean if it's up behind the rip curl oh is it At, well there's the, that's that's what it said on facebook yeah so whether that happens or not i don't know whether that's good or bad don't know but i do think that there is a place to have some affordable food here so that especially for locals if they want to come out here they don't have to pay you know like a lot of money for a restaurant meal they can just get something cheap are the markets on the first sunday of every month yeah first sunday of every month in the dry season oh yeah so in the wet season they stop so i think they've only just started again now first one for the year oh wow a lot of these restaurants got damaged when um there was massive rain after Cyclone Jasper, but it looks like they are all up and running again now, except for Portofino's. And Chill. Oh no! Well, you're so Portofino's and Chill are fantastic places to eat or hang out, but they are still both closed because they got damaged after Jasper with all the rain. Such a shame because they had fantastic Italian food especially sort of like modern Australian Italian really really good and chill does fantastic breakfasts as well but they're closed just look at all these plants look at the gardens beautiful tropical trees beautiful tropical pandans um, flowers it's just such a beautiful environment and when you sit here you are sitting right on the beach it's so beautiful. We love Palm Cove so much. I am so hungry and so excited. This is a very nice place to work. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> It would be hard to find a nicer place in Australia to have breakfast. Really, really beautiful. So when we see this menu, we get really, really excited because there are so many amazing things on it and I'm gonna tell you some of them. So things like the fruit salad is called the best fruit we can possibly source. Um, so as far as like savory breakfasts go, um, there's the Bushy Creek beef sausage, milk bun, FNQ ketchup and pickles. That sounds good. There's Spanner Crab Omelette greens, Spanner Crab Omelette greens, ginger caramel and white pepper broth. I think I'm going to get that too. <laughs> Cassava hash browns, avocado, beet relish, whipped feta and poached eggs. Are you hungry? Oh, listen to this, listen to this. Ginger pork and papaya salad, jammy egg, rice pancake, and hot sauce. That, that's what I'm getting. Is it? Yeah. And then if you've got a sweet tooth, there is so much here. Um, coconut crumpet, coconut caramel, roasted banana, monkey butter, I don't know what that is, and coconut sorbet. Oh, thank you so much. Ooh, thank, thank you so you. much.
but as well as that they've got beautiful smoothies and juices and you can build your own juice even simple things like their banana bread listen to this banana bread and rainforest honeycomb butter anyway so what are you going to order i'm going to get the ginger pork and papaya salad with a jammy egg rice pancake and hot sauce i'm getting the cassava hash browns avocado beet relish whipped butter and poached eggs so i'm going to get listen to this spanner crab omelette greens ginger caramel and white pepper broth so could we get um, the ginger pork? Yes. The cassava hash browns. The um, da, 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 spanner crab. Uh -huh. Oh, you want pineapple donuts? Yeah. You yeah. want pineapple donuts? I want pineapple donuts. Pineapple donuts. Pineapple donuts. Pineapple donuts. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> Good? So good. And then my ice long black. So when you live in the tropics, you really should consider getting into iced coffee because it's so cool. Literally so cool. Yep, they got good coffee. So if you ever have feelings of low self-esteem or you don't think you'd look quite as good as what you should, <laughs> feel better. <laughs> Slouch hat. I joined you... the army. <laughs> so was that too mean? <laughs> no, no. I'll be right. You're in the air, that's okay. Close enough. Thank you very much. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Wow, just squeezed, I reckon. There's so many exotic choices, but sometimes just freshly squeezed orange juice is the best. So the glasses are in the shape of a pineapple and then they've put pineapple leaves in it. It's so beautiful. Good morning, put the spanner crab on look. Yes, please, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Spice pineapple donuts. Oh, that's me as well. That's me as well. That's the spanner crab omelette in the pepper broth. And mine's the pork papaya salad with jammy egg. Cassava hash browns. So the pepper confit beetroot, the pickled beetroot, whipped buffalo, butter, smashed avocado, and the poached egg. So that's the cassava hash browns. It's got like a Vietnamese dipping sauce with it, nok chum, and I can smell it, and it smells beautiful and fragrant and fresh. So we've got, um, I think, Vietnamese coriander. Oh, absolutely Vietnamese coriander. And the spanner crab omelette, and we've got some fried curry leaves, and it looks like black and white sesame seeds. And then this is the pepper broth that you pour all over the whole thing. And when I pour it, I can smell dashi, which is like a seafoody, miso y um, thing which tastes beautiful. Umami on steroids. So good. That 
is so good. So if you saw the video that we did about the rain um, a few weeks back now, you'll see that we grow so much Vietnamese coriander. We love it. So make sure you get some herb on it. Mm. That is so good. So I'm gonna taste Haley's now. So I'm gonna try the cassava hash brown. That is so good. So Haley's um, cassava hash brown has amaranth leaves on top. I don't know how we're going to eat these donuts. One at a time. <laughs> or two at a time. <laughs> so this is an amaranth leaf and we grow this um, and it's really mild, not as bitter as other greens, even though it's red. It tastes like fresh. <laughs> have a look at this huge chunk of spanner crab in my omelette. I have to say that this is a really, really well crafted plate of food. It's full of surprises, but nothing's an afterthought. It's just delicious. Well considered. Look at that. Pickled garlic. So Tim's just going to have a taste of my spanner crab omelette. Mm. My dish has got something called ginger caramel in it. And at first I thought it was seaweed. I couldn't really place the flavour. It is so amazingly good. Pineapple donut time. Do you know what? I'm so full anyway, I don't even think I can eat one. But there's passion fruit curd. <laughs> mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. mm. I've got sugar all around my mouth, I know. But it's a really, really fresh, beautiful pineapple donut and then with um, sugar around the outside. No cinnamon. And cinnamon. Um, and then the passion fruit curd is really, really passion fruity and sour. Very, very yummy. Those donuts are absolutely fantastic. Like the second best donut I've ever had in my life. Well, actually with the passion fruit curd, Okay, equal first best donut, tied with um, the bakery at the Coranda Markets. Definitely a special occasion breakfast price, but such good value if you really want to treat yourself. And it's the same price as a cafe in Sydney. Uh, Where are you traveling? Are you? Yeah. You, whereabouts are you from? Uh, south of France. Oh, wow, that's very impressive. That's very far. <laughs> yeah, it is a long way from here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And what's your favourite food in France? Ah. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I know. I know, it's not the season here. Yeah. But, well, it will come, but not in Cairns because it's too no, hot never. anyway. <laughs> but it's the la raclette. Do you know it? No. It's a uh, cheesy dish where um, it's really fun because you always share. You have uh, some heating plate in the center of the yes. table and you have some little pan, your own, that it, it's about that size and you have the cheese wow. that goes right into it. Like a fondue type? Like, but the fondue, it's in a big bowl yes. and everyone's dipping it. Oh yeah, no, gross. No, no, no. <laughs> it 
can be. You see what I mean. But the raglet, it's your own. Yes. So you don't share. Like you can share. Them. Yes. Okay. And then you put the cheese to melt. Yes. Sometimes you can make it a little crispy, but don't forget it. And then you have some steamy potatoes that you can smash. And then you put on it, wait for it, charcuterie. Oh, oh wow. So you have ham and yes. saucisson yes. and copa yes. and viande grison and everything. So yeah, and then the cheese, it's not one kind of cheese. Yes. You can have like boiled cheese and oh. like smoked one, like papery, like, and it sounds very good. And every time I'm talking about it, I get so passionate. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's, I think that's my favorite because it's cool because you can share it. Yes. And it's cheesy, so yeah. like, you know, it's like comfort food. Yes. Oh, oh wow, that sounds so good. That lady just looked at Tim's hat with a questioning look on her face. <laughs> because I didn't have the cider. dollars for three people with the most beautiful food some of the best food you will ever have in absolute paradise it is such a great restaurant Nunu Palm Cove far north Queensland Australia I really am walking out but you've got souvenirs that you can get here as well and this must be the coolest hat I've ever seen how much is a hat Bucket hat, $30. Second coolest hat. <laughs> Kaya. Oh wow, they've got Nunu coconut jam, which is Kaya jam. Um, so you can make Kaya toast. So a trucker cap is $45, a bit steep, but they're pretty damn cool. And they've got fridge magnets and they've got the Nunu hat. I just love the Nunu hat. They've also got tote bags and tea towels. Really, really cool merch. I love it. A tea towel. Oh, it's probably the most expensive tea towel I've ever seen in my life. $35 for a tea towel, but very cool. So now we are off to resume our journey at the market. So we're actually going to walk up the... Um, path along the beach um, and go back up and, and complete our market journey. I think after all those donuts I'll just roll along the beach. <laughs> All those pandanus are so tropical and so beautiful. I remember when I was a kid and we first moved to Catherine in the Northern Territory and we had been living in Alice Springs and we got to Catherine and I expected there to be palm trees everywhere and I was so disappointed that all they had was pandanus but now I actually find them more beautiful than palm trees. So I'll show you these spike marks in the sides of the coconut palms. And this is where the guy gets, um, so he's got like sharp spear type things on his shoes to climb up the coconut tree. Spikes. Spikes. <laughs> to climb up the coconut tree and get the coconuts off before they fall on people and kill them. Because I think, I don't know what the statistic is, but there's actually quite a large number of people in the world that die every year from coconuts falling on their heads. It's not going to happen to you in Palm Cove. So yes, there are crocodiles and yes, there are stingers. So get a good hotel with a beautiful pool.
So you can hire kayaks and go out. So cute. So we've followed the path up to where we were at the markets and we're now going to just jump through and resume, resume our market journey. <laughs> People love their dogs in Palm Cove, they're all walking their dogs. Yeah, I know, I can see the blue bill. Heaps of skincare and candles and fragrance things. These tiles are so cute. Look at this. They are very, very, very cute. There we go. North Queensland calls you. The book is this it's hyaluronic acid serum. It's hyaluronic acid serum. Have you heard of hyaluronic? Uh, not really. It's, it's, it's natural in the body. It's for anti age, it's amazing. What it does, it allows you to get the Right. Who do you think you are? I hear you were asking all around. If I There's a guy over there, really concerned about the sun, so concerned he's putting sunscreen on the bottom of his feet. Maybe he's going to sunbake, like lay down. Maybe he's going to step into his thongs and go. <laughs> <laughs> So this yeah. is really real. Right. Like when, it's been 12 years of a journey and I'm full on in rainbow you know this side no. <laughs> It's really real. So is this water finding or? No, it's um, your energy, energetic field, I think. He's just teaching us. Yeah. But this stuff to even wear, like the Shungai, particularly when we're using so many electronics, yep. because we are actually, I see this field, so I know it to be true. Like really, yeah. it's been 12 years and now I'm in Rainbow World. <laughs> um, but um, because we are that, you know, these, these, these because uh, this has got copper and crystals. I'm actually I'm actually a customer here, so yeah. these guys have got lots of information yeah. about what they do here. Yeah. But um, I'm going to be starting to um, have classes where people can come so you can find your own light body. Do you do like the water? Divining. Divining. Not personally. Not personally. No. That's what people buy these for. Also to find water types on their property. And yeah. That. How much does it cost for them? Oh, perfect five dollars each uh, not each a set that's for two okay all right i'm gonna buy two divining rods <laughs> so this is the bargain of the century two down two dousing rods for only five dollars you won't get that anywhere else 
like, I put them in my uh, necklaces too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're really nice. Is there a difference in the colour? No, it's <laughs> personal choice. <laughs> There we go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. We're going to see if they can find water. I think that's over there. <laughs> but let's give it a scientific <laughs> experiment. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Those are going to be helpful. <laughs> oh, nice. They do that in Cambodia and Bali. And Nepal. Oh, and Nepal. Yeah. Very, very nice. It's just so beautiful. Oh, these ones are, yeah. That's beautiful. Can I have a piece of your Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Hello. Hello, how are you? Sorry, how are you doing? Oh, we know you, but you don't know. <laughs> this happens to me all the time. I was just standing here, and this fellow, your name? Vaughn. Vaughn yeah. just walked yeah, up and said, Tim, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my wife Carla. We Hello! Home. Yeah, Good. So because we just moved here. Um, oh, where from? And, uh, from uh, South Australia. Yep. Well, originally I'm from the States and she's from Australia. So. Oh wow. So are you really hot right now? Because yeah. really we are hot. sweating yeah, yeah. and we're used sweating. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny because we saw you guys walking down on the side, walking up and down. And we were like, oh, it's heavy too. Nice to meet you though. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, it's really good. And enjoy cans. Yeah, yeah, that's great. It is hot, hot, hot. Like we were whinging last week about three months of rain and now I'm whinging about the sun. When I'm older, I'll know about it when my parts don't work anymore. Because he keeps pulling and joints out. So this is the surf club, which is always good for a bistro type um, modern Australian cuisine. They've got a good bar, they've got some pokies, all that sort of stuff. If you live in Cairns, that means a lot to you. These pictures are awesome. That is so cool. I've seen your YouTube videos. Oh, have you? You were at Port Douglas. Yeah. Yes, I was. I was in the background. You were there, yes, yes. and I said I would really liked your yes. stuff. I remember editing you, yes. <laughs> This is the most beautiful t-shirt I've ever seen. Hello, how are you going this week? <laughs> hello, how are you? You're in every video and I just walk past and say hello. <laughs> are these like, are these called Dutch pancakes or something? Or, yeah, beautiful. That is skill. <gasps> they have got Richards. This guy is a legend with salt and pepper squid. It is so good. Hello, how are you? We haven't seen you for ages. So you ha do you still have a restaurant at, is it Holloway's or you still have that? And it is so yummy. It's really worth trying. If we hadn't just eaten at Nunu, we would be eating it. We actually said before we came here, I wonder if that guy is here. Wednesday to Sunday. Nice. Thank you, you so go. much. Thank you, thank you. Do you still have the milk crates that you can sit on? Oh. No? Today. It's today. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Hello, how are you?
I'm going to say this market is twice as long as what it used to be. I don't think we've been here for about a year, um, probably because it was closed during the wet season and that, but yeah, really, really, you need a bit of time to make your way all the way down. Cooling off? To. Yeah, I know, it's hot. I was complaining the, like the last three months about the rain and now I'm boiling. Yeah, I know. <laughs> cool hat. <laughs> can you do two sides? Of course I can, it's a multifunctional hat. Actually, that looks cool. Not for my ears. Yeah. <laughs> Ear protection. <laughs> so that's a really nice jetty to walk out. You can look at Double Island, you can look at the Scout Hat. So that is beautiful, stunning, tropical Palm Cove on a market day. We had a fantastic breakfast. We've had a beautiful day. We met some great people. I've got a great hat. <laughs> if you feel like it, and only if you feel like it, like and subscribe. But most importantly, stay, stay calm, calm in the farm. farm.